Peter, I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. <laughs> invisible How's bomb, he's looking at it. Okay. A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live. Which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! Oh, no. Damn! That was it! What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down! What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right. The one in shell one should be counting down, too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 400 seconds. 400 seconds? It's plenty of time. Right. Plenty Move. of time. Get to the bottom of strut A now! Conveniently, that, uh, the elevator has come back up. And we got to move time limit time. Oh no! The bomb's gonna go off. We better get a move on, Raiden. No time to waste. I mean, th th this is not difficult. Unless, unless you're absolutely terrible at the game, you're not gonna run out of time at this part, because strut C isn't too far away from strut A. And 400 seconds is plenty of time, unless you get stuck with some guards, but I've already taken out most of them on my way there, so it's okay. See, they're still out for the count, luckily. And I'm glad I've got the node there now. The only node I need is the... Uh, strut D, was it? I think I left that, because I couldn't be arsed getting it. That may come back to bite me in the arse, but... Oh, this dude's awake, though. He's dead now. <laughs> and this dude is about to meet the same fate, even though he nearly saw me. Die. Oh. Oh, no. Move. Move quick before the... Shit! No, 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 no! No, no, no! Quick, quick! Get in! Yes! Oh, we nearly ran into the, uh... Investigating party there. That was a bit scary. But we made it. And we still can't cartwheel up steps and... Where's right? There he is. <laughs> yeah, I think I enjoy doing that a bit too much. If I'm honest. And there's a guard on the roof, but we should be able to avoid him. Oh, one of my favourite codec calls is coming up. I love it so much. Here we go. Right, Bliskin. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave With a seven-foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there! There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Pliskin, get away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. You can do it. I guess he couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, Stillman's boom. He's gone. He is going to be splattered all over the walls. And uh, I just love his scream there. It's like... Aah! That's the kind of scream that I'd probably make if I was being blown to shit by some C4. Snake would be like, nah, don't give a shit. I can take it. But Stillman is dead, I'm afraid. But we knew him well. He was a good chap. And we really need to find this C4, which, uh, if you remember, I noticed something in the first cutscene in this room. I don't know if you guys did. But we actually saw the bomb at, right at the beginning of the game. Or the, the section of the plant, so... It's nice and easy to find. I don't even need to use the new sensor. There we go. Threat neutralized. Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? 
Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed, and the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Phew. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high. But the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? Rescue the president. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. Roger that. Yeah, Ryden's getting confident now. We just defused a fucking bomb. Well, we've been doing that all, all the game, but no. But we, we just defused a big bomb, so that's good. I didn't want to dive in the water, you plank. Get back up there. There we go. Uh, also, what I like to do is... Uh, Freeze the bugs. <laughs> you may run, but you can't hide from the icy cold, wintry death that awaits you. That's a really good, actually, a very useful thing to do later on in the game, so remember that. Anyway, back to the surface we go. Is there nothing in here? I don't think so. Right. Oh, another call. Great. From the Colonel, our favorite codec person. Raiden, the terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? No. A hostage has been killed, shot in the head. They shot one of them on the roof, just to make sure we caught it. Bastards. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the president. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority, my butt. They're all in danger. Jeff, be reasonable. I know what you're feeling, but you can't save them all. No, not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? Well, looks like he's turned his radio off, too. I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? They haven't even gotten to planning that. Shit. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Raiden, go and rescue the President. You can start off by getting to the upper level of Strut A. One of our satellites got it clear as day. Bastards. Can't believe they killed a hostage. I mean... I know the terrorists and all that, but phew, that's not good. But, uh, uh oh. Oh shit. No. No, 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 this is not good. Finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. Oh crap. Very appropriate response to that, right? And yes. Oh crap indeed. That's not him. This could be interesting. You've seen the fires of hell, haven't you? And there goes our escape route. Maybe you can give me death. My name is Fortune. Lucky in war and nothing else. And without a death to call my own. Hurry. Kill me, please. You masochistic bitch. Oh no, I hate this fight. Oh shit, I'm on fire. Dodge and roll, duck and weave. Duck, duck and weave, that's not how you get rid of fire. Stop, drop, roll, that's what it is, isn't it? Anyway, we really cannot win this fight, because you can't hit it. And there's no way I'm going to try. You just got to try and stay behind cover, avoiding the fire. She's going to destroy this place, good and proper. There's plenty of lovely barrels that can be blown up and explode near you, which is lovely. Uh-oh, she 
destroy that fucking quickly. I'll move over here. Uh, I could call someone to ask them for help. Such as... Uh, Pliskin, maybe? Oh, no, no response. In my time of need, Snake. I mean, Pliskin. Okay, Colonel. What you got to say? Right, it's no use. That door is jammed shut with rubble. There's no way out. You're going to have to manage. Oh, great. Ha, huh. what, what great advice there, Colonel. I mean, fired at by a huge fucking railgun. By a woman who can't be hit by any bullets. I mean, I could come to her and try and punch her in the face, but I don't think that would work. Jeez, look at the lights and all that shit going about. Oh, my God. Yeah, the only thing you can do in this fight really is just try and survive for as long as possible. Oh, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Well, it's a sign that the uh, the lift's coming back down again. All right, Fortune. We know you're very high. Oh dear, that was a bit close. Ah, shit! Did you see? Oh my word, that's so cool. Fiddlesticks. Ah, she's starting to go crazy now, that's good. The fight's almost over. See how tiny her life bar was there? It's smaller than my... Anyway, um... Right. Fat Man just contacted us directly. Fat Man called us? Yes. Looks like he placed a bomb on the heliport. He specifically asked for you, right? Shit. What? He's killed off Peter. Now he's after you. Why me? How should I know? Look, this is really not a good time for Yeah, this. tell me about the it. Countdown's already begun, right? Great. How much time do I have left? I'll show you the count. Four hundred seconds remaining. At so least he's, he's consistent. Taking this place out. It looks like he has a different agenda from that of Dead Cell. What about backup? None. There's no time. Which type of explosives is it? He didn't say. Well, this is a load of fucking good. Yeah, we're really well equipped to deal with this threat, aren't we? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Vamp as well. Oh, he, he does give me the creeps. Vamp is definitely a scary dude. I'll take over, Queen. What is it? It seems our friend Fat Man is out of control. He'll actually try to destroy this place? Yes. This could unravel everything we've planned. But why would he do such a thing? Who knows? But he's nothing more than a stereotypical mad bomb now. He's completely lost sight of our ideals. And with it, his loyalty to Commander Jackson. All right. I'll take care of the wayward soul. It wasn't him. Unfortunate. I expected more of this one. Real. But he couldn't kill you, I see. Completely useless. Then he's all mine. Later. Then. Now! Oh man, I just shot Marvin in the face. Yeah, if you uh, understand. Well, that, you, it's obvious the film that's coming from, but anyway, I'm going to shut up because this is a really emotional scene. Alright, it's over. Did we kill Vamp? If so, that was one hell of a result. me enough we'll just be uh, on our way then 
I thought you could give me peace. But you couldn't kill me either. <laughs> Very wise there, Brad. Just, just leave her. We're going up in the world. Leave her to a sob story. We dodged a bit of a bullet there. <laughs> Unlike Vamp. <laughs> oh. There's no need for sorrow, Queen. Oh, no. I died once already. Damn. I can't die twice. Oh, my word. These are a bunch of freaks. And uh, I hope I got that quote right, you know, from Pulp Fiction. Because it's the same dude that got shot in the face in the back of the car. He, uh, he voices Vamp. Just so you know, in case you didn't. But now you do, so it's alright. I really hope I got that quote right, otherwise I'm going to look like a complete dick. 